Yeah. Um, my father was also an artist. And I know, I know. <laughs> yes. So, you know, it, it runs in the family. And, you know, yes, I, I remember when I was little, um, he did a lot of drawings for the bedroom. So I had them hanging up. And I went through this phase. Uh, I would say I wasn't even a teen yet, so preteen, where I was angry about something. Ask me now what it was. I have no idea. But I called myself being grown, taking those paintings, and just getting rid of them. Wow. I regret it. I regret it to this day because sometimes you don't know the memories that you're going to be able to, to keep and the connection that someone has, especially when it comes to art, because it's like they're giving a piece of themselves to the canvas. And so I do encourage you to continue um, doing what you do, sharing your light. In fact, you have some pieces there that would you like to tell us a little bit more about them? The t-shirt that you're wearing? And yes, I'm wearing one of my t-shirts. It's called the Heather t-shirt. Okay. And and it's anybody can wear it. Anybody. Okay. Any sexuality, any gender. And this is called Imperfectly You. Okay. So that means like, you know, no matter what scars you have, no matter what traumas you have, you know, being imperfect is the best way to go. Because so there's always a message around your pieces. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Vital. Every piece has Vital. a description and a messaging behind it. You know, I, I don't think I could do otherwise. Okay. And um, this is like around about 20 bucks. Okay. And it's um, it's 60% cotton and 40% polyester. So very comfy. All right. Yes. And durable. And I also have another one and this is Billy Holiday. Oh wow. Abstract. Look at that. How long yes. did it take you to do that one? The design. Yes, I, girl, I I do like I can do like six designs a day. Wow. You know, so I'm already I'm already to 156. That's amazing. Design. So, I design my butt off. Okay, well, we're definitely going to get your contact information and have it in the description. So if anyone wants to get in touch with you and, you know, pursue getting pieces, collaborating, then that way they're able to know how to get directly to you. So beautiful. And you do tote bags and other yes, items I, too, right? I, uh, this is um, a face mask. Face mask? Oh, wow. Timely. Yes, that's Little Nas X. He's like an American rapper. He's right. Like, you know, he's like the he's openly gay. Uh -huh. You know, he's doing his thing. You know, he's wow. really huge, really okay. huge right now. Got it. And it also comes with adjusting pins if you want to adjust the size. So okay. And nice. It, this is called. This is flat. This is like a flat style. Okay. But we also have pleated, where you have like um, elastic bands. Okay. You know, one size fits all. <laughs> gotcha. And this is the tote bag. Wow. Princess Diana. Look at that. I mean, Princess some of the designs are so simple, but such a huge message. Yes, yes. And this tote bag right here is soft, it's durable. Okay. It's Polly Poplin um, fabric. And um, it has great durability. And um, you can, this, you can, I mean, grocery shopping, mm -hmm. you know, you can take it for a weekend, staycation, whatever. <laughs> it's a lot of whatever. versatility. Yes, whatever okay. works for you. And the um, image is on both sides. Oh, wow. Double sided. Okay. Yeah. So no matter where you pick it up, you're going to see the design. Okay. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Oh, that's great. That is wonderful. So yeah. um, the company that you're working for now, Pixels Company, could you tell us a little bit more about their operations? Yes, they're one of the largest companies out there, print on demand. I mean, they, you know, they have iconic brands and all of that, but they also support independent artists such as myself, wow. you know, and it's okay. free to sign on. 
Okay. You can, you can already have pictures and stuff of your work and your work will go directly on their products instantly. So you can even see what your artwork, your artworks look on their merchandise, on their product. Got it. So you can see the finished product before you order it. Yes. Like okay. instantly. Once you download your image, boom, it's on the products and you can see them. That's nice. Yes. Wonderful. And okay. I'm so grateful for them, you know, and I pay $30 a year just to have full access of downloading images. Okay, so want, no limits. You want that. Okay. You want to be able to have, you know, to create any time, any place. Got it. You wow. Know, so it's worth it. It's all free. Just $30 a year to download as many images as you want. And, you know, it, it seems like, especially in these tough times with the pandemic and the isolation, you know, making sure that whatever emotions are bubbling up inside, you get those out. So whether it's taking up journaling, uh, support groups, art, you know, all these things are a way of expressing so you're not retaining and then it's building up beyond control. And, you know, on that sobering topic of the pandemic, what effect would you say that it's, it's had on you personally? Oh my gosh. I mean, I have moments where I just wanted to stay in the bed. I didn't want to get out, mm -hmm. you know, so I'm sure I've gone through depression. I'm sure, you know, I'm sure I've gone through my body just weak, you know, because it's just the vibrations of the pandemic and COVID is everywhere. Right. So the vibes are just like, and I'm an energy person. Right. So, you know, so I had to protect my energy, you know, so staying in was working, you know, and we were forced to stay in. You know, yeah, you like, were one oh of the heaviest hit areas at the very outset. Oh my gosh, you know, so, you know, um, but at the same time, opportunity to reprogram yourself, mm -hmm. you know, reprogram myself to be more grateful, mm -hmm. you know, um, just, you know, just trying to enrich relationships the best I can, right. you right. know, and things come up from the past, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, I think that, I think that we don't suffer from life. We suffer from memories yes. and we, you know, and we, and we suffer and our imagination gets attached to it all. Agreed. And that's when it starts swirling around, swirling around. So that just allowed me on a whole nother level of like, I ain't separated from nobody. It doesn't <laughs> matter what you say. I'm not separated from nobody because all this to navigate. Right. It's self-love. You got to love yourself. That's all there is. Right. Well, you know, really the question remains, if you don't love yourself, can you really love anyone else? Oh my, yeah. yeah. It, it seems like that that can't be, you know, that can't be so, or it's not a real big deal, but it is, it's, it's real. Yeah. Yeah. It's really real. And anyone who's taken that path down a very volatile, downing, terrible relationship knows that, you know, oftentimes it could be the other individual has problems. None of us are perfect, but you do have to look inside too and see what is it that you have to tackle? What is it that you need to face? I like when you made the point about memories. Um, you cannot run your past. You know, it defines you. And the beauty of healing is to stand tall, face it and say, you will get over it. Nothing will stop me. And, and the thing about it is support is vital. You need that. But no matter how much someone else wants it for us, it doesn't happen until we're ready. Yes. Yeah. You know, I, I totally am a firm believer. I have faith, trust, and divine plan. You know, I really feel like no matter what, you know, I am on a divine plan. And there's a soul mission, you know, a life purpose within it, you know. So um, regardless of that imagination and those memories, because it just freaking doesn't stop. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's going to stop because it's the human experience. Yeah, it's nonstop. So it's human experience. And, and the imagination can work with so much. It can work with our senses. Mm -hmm. and everything feels so real, yeah. you know. So it's, it, 
it's sometimes so hard to figure out what's real and what's not. You know that expression, um, uh, can't see the forest for the trees. So sometimes people who are not in your situation have a better take on things because their emotions aren't in it. They don't have any involvement. So their perspective is one of outside looking in. But the flip side of that coin is because they haven't lived it. They don't feel it. So that's why on an individual level, there's a heavy load to carry. And I really commend you for doing the work because a lot of people run from those emotions and they keep that imagination tucked inside. They, yeah. they don't face it. And day after day, year after year, is taking a toll and they don't even realize it. But yeah, the work is well worth it. So uh, another question, if you had to jump in a time machine and travel back to 1999, what advice are you giving yourself? Based on what life has brought your way and what you've experienced since then, what do you say to Eric back in 1999? Um. Like Princess Diana says, I lead with my heart and not my head. Lead with your heart and not your head because that head will keep on going. Mm. It's just like, I think that's what's driving so many of us out of our minds is, oh, thoughts become things. You hear all these things, mm -hmm. thoughts become things and mm -hmm. attract, you know, attract alike. <laughs> Mm -hmm. No, there's a lot of ways. Yeah. Attract the likes, track and all that stuff. And and then people are like, but I'm I'm thinking hundreds and thousands of negative things. And I'm afraid. Is that all that gonna happen? It's like, how can I control and stop? How can I do it? Right. You know, so I, I'm all about my heart. Right. I'm all about the heart. I, I just observe the mind and listen to the mind and let it pass by as best as I can. That's very powerful. And you know, a lot of what you're describing is fear. You know, yes. when you take something that has happened to you in the past and you try to transpose that onto now or the future based on something that's imagined, it's fear. So if you crush that fear and you annihilate that, imagine the possibilities imagine you know, yeah and i'm looking forward to more possibilities and new beginnings and i definitely you know i have the hope i have the hope i have the faith i have the trust and and i think that's one of the reasons i'm still here excellent yeah it plays a, a vital role and you know you mentioned too with the elements of the pandemic and taking that toll on us um it's you can be alone without being lonely you know, and I think that's something that, especially in America, a lot of us just weren't prepared for. We're so used to having our hangout spots and our crew and a routine. <laughs> and so yeah. everyone's life became so disrupted. And because we're creatures of habit, you know, it was this matter of what hit the brakes, what, what's happening? You know, this term of a new normal. Well, the thing is, it'll never be normal because it's gonna take constant work to readjust. But <laughs> those that can pivot, and you know just turn the knob left or right slowly to get it just right versus refusing to change and saying i'm going to stick to what i know and that's all i'm willing to do you know being ready to kind of roll with the punches this pandemic has given us a huge life lesson and the only constant in life is change but it doesn't have to take you out so i'm glad that you're standing strong and you're continuing to to battle anything that tries to get in your way because you're right the possibilities are tremendous the messages that you're sending with your art and with your confidence you know those things are vital and you know i think it's great that you have members of the community that are like you're a hero because they see you and that's the thing at the end of the day making sure that you're allowing yourself to see the greatness in you and then making sure that you celebrate that in others because that's another thing that we could really improve in who crosses paths with you 
Is it someone at the supermarket? Someone in your family? Someone that you need to tell, I see you, I appreciate you, and I love you. And how much better things could be. So we are so, so excited that you were able to come through and join us today, shedding that light. Um, is there any specific, because I know a lot of people don't necessarily open that description box, any contact info you want to share, your social media handles? Yes. Um, my Instagram is just look up my name, EBJ Artist, EBJ Artist. That's Excellent. initial EBJ Artist. Excellent. And I'll surely pop up. Wonderful. Well, it has and been also, profound. Um, Oh yeah, uh, Facebook, Eric Bro Jenkins. Because okay. Facebook, you just gotta put in the name. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and um, I'm on TikTok too. Uh, okay. Yeah, EBJ Art. Okay. Yeah. Okay, excellent. So and Instagram, Facebook, you've got TikTok. Oh, email, what's that? Yeah, my email is B as in boy, R-O-H-A-M, that's like ham. Okay underscore 100 at hotmail.com beautiful so i'm going to make sure all that is included right there for everyone to be able to just click the link um, if they were taking notes they've got your contact info and for those of you that stuck around to the end i saved the best part for last eric is one of my dear cousins and has been instrumental in supporting and cheering me on because at the end of the day, we can only do what we believe and what we're, we set our minds to and our hearts to. And to have that cheer team that tells you you can is instrumental. So make sure that you find those, you know, grow your, grow your tribe, grow your team, because everything, all that support and that lift and that love, it's, it's the lifeblood of keeping going. So wishing all of you safety and fantasticness for the rest of your day. Make sure that you, you know, come back and see us next time. In the meanwhile, don't forget to tell the ones you love exactly how you feel. And we thank you again, Eric, for joining us today. And we can't wait to see all the many amazing things you accomplish going forward, okay? Yes, and I would like to make a shout out to Sixth Street, Sapadilla, and West Palm <laughs> Beach, between Tamarind, Rosemary. <laughs> and a lot of people don't know that I lived in the hood for okay. six years. Okay. So, you know, so I'm, I'm ghetto fabulous, but I'm also, you know, I got hood in me. So, you know, <laughs> I got that. <laughs> On that note, wishing you all continued safety, pursuit of your dreams, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye, sweetie. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to share this video and like, comment, and subscribe. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at New You Wow. Until next time, stand tall in your power and remember, your belief in yourself is your superpower.